Florida's system of school accountability is based on these simple principles. All students can learn. All students should learn a year's worth of knowledge in a year's time. When schools organize themselves around the goal of learning, students achieve, often beyond our expectations. High academic standards, annual testing, and school grades form a cohesive system of accountability for student success in school and beyond. Florida has 67 school districts with more than 4,000 public schools and hundreds of thousands of classrooms. To ensure parents and teachers across the state have the same expectation for education regardless of where they live, Florida established the Sunshine State Standards. Florida has academic standards for seven subjects. Language Arts, which includes reading and writing, math, science, social studies, foreign language, health and physical education, and the arts. The Sunshine State Standards define what students should learn in each grade level, whether they are going to school in Key West, Pensacola, or any place in between. For example, the Sunshine State Standards for Reading dictate kindergarten students should know the letters and sounds of the alphabet. Third graders should be able to read independently, meaning they can understand words, sentences, and paragraphs without help. And sixth grade students should be able to identify word parts, such as prefixes and suffixes. These academic benchmarks are developed by teachers and serve as the basis for curriculum and classroom instruction. The standards outline what concepts and skills should be taught. How the material is taught is left up to teachers, principals, and school districts. The Florida Comprehensive Assessment Test, known as FCAT, measures student achievement of the Sunshine State Standards in four subjects, reading, writing, math, and science. The writing test was first given in 1992. Reading and math were added in 1997, and science was added in 2003. Today, students in third through 10th grade are tested annually in reading and math, Science and writing are tested once each in elementary, middle, and high school. Before the FCAT, school districts tested students using one of eight different national standardized tests. These types of tests, called norm-referenced tests, measure students' proficiency relative to a general curriculum, while the FCAT measures students' proficiency against specific state standards. Norm reference tests compare achievement among students of the same grade. Such tests tell students where they rank in the entire population nationally. The FCAT, on the other hand, doesn't compare students. Rather, it compares individual student achievement against an objective standard. More than 700 teachers, parents, and test experts review and approve questions for the FCAT. Questions must be accurate, aligned to the Sunshine State Standards, appropriate for the grade level, unbiased, and inoffensive. The Reading, Math, and Science FCAT are scored on a scale of 1 to 5. A score of 3 indicates the student is performing on grade level. The Writing Test is scored on a scale of 1 to 6, with 3.5 indicating the student is on grade level. Higher scores indicate knowledge and skills above the grade level. Lower scores indicate students have not yet mastered the skills defined by the Sunshine State Standards for that subject in that grade level. Parents and teachers use the FCAT to track the progress of individual students throughout their academic career. However, the 3rd and 10th grade FCAT tests have additional significance. In the 4th grade, students transition from learning to read to reading to learn. Fourth graders who can't read independently are likely to struggle in every other subject area, often falling behind and never catching up. That is why the third grade FCAT is used as a tool to determine if students can read well enough to succeed in the next grade. Students who score a one, the lowest level of performance, can be retained in the third grade. Teachers can recommend their promotion to the fourth grade based on a portfolio of their classroom work 
or based on demonstrated proficiency on an alternative assessment tool, such as a norm-referenced test. Likewise, the FCAD is used to ensure students have the basic skills to succeed in the workforce or higher education. To earn a high school diploma, high school students must pass the 10th grade FCAT in reading and math. Students must correctly answer approximately 40% of the questions on the math test and 50% of the questions on the reading test. Students have up to five opportunities to pass the exam during high school and unlimited opportunities after the summer of their senior year to pass the test. For more than 25 years, Florida has required students to pass an exit exam to earn a diploma. Currently, the 10th grade FCAT serves as this test. FCAT scores are also used to measure how well schools are teaching the Sunshine State standards. Florida began grading schools on a scale of A through F in 1999. Schools must test at least 90% of their students to earn a grade. 95% if they want to be eligible for an A. Elementary and middle schools can earn up to 100 points in eight categories. Half of the categories are based on performance, specifically the percent of students who are performing on grade level or higher in reading, writing, math, and science. The other four categories are based on progress in reading and math, specifically the percent of all students and the percent of low-performing students who learned a year's worth of knowledge from one year to the next, even if students are not yet on grade level. Progress is a comparison of each child's test score to his or her test score in the previous year. It is not a comparison of one child to another. Additionally, schools must show progress among the lowest performing students or lose a letter grade. To earn an A, a school must accumulate 525 or more points. An F is a school that earns only 395 or less points. Essentially, that means that at least 65% of the student population at an A school is achieving on grade level and making progress from one year to the next. Conversely, at least 65% of students at an F school are below grade level, not making any progress, or in some cases, falling even further behind. Florida's accountability system is working for students. Since introducing accountability in schools, more students are reading at or above grade level. Florida is closing the achievement gap and more students are attending college.